<laughs> so if if you know nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group, and I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. Right? This can't be fixed. You just have to... See, right there, that's something that a lot of people um, struggle with, man. That there's no solutions to these things. Like, that that's that, that's something that a lot of people struggle with, man. And I get I get that. I do I do understand that, man. Especially people with like degrees and people that have their type A personalities. They've been, you know, they've been put in positions where they like on boards and they're politicians or whatever, and they've been tasked with problem solving. And then they come across this, and there's just no solution for this one. You can't fix this one. Got to be frustrating to escape. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where you know I have a very low black population, because unfortunately, the you know there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when when he notes that the when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. So I, I think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh, white citizen of America to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's no longer a rational impulse. And so I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to back off from being helpful to Black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. Like I've been doing it all my life, and I've been the only outcome is I be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. <laughs> it makes no sense to help Black Americans if you're white. Uh, the the it's over. Don't don't even think it's worth trying. Totally not trying. And there we go. You didn't expect that today, did you? (laughs) But those who don't want to focus on education, you just need to get away from them. Just get as much distance as you can. That's my... My immediate thoughts are, I've seen this before but why is he doing this now he's been a giant lefty so is he trying is he right did he write a book and he's doing a publicity tour you know there's a reason that somebody that famous comes out and says outlandish shit and it's not outlandish it's all truthful but it's outlandish for the left to say it white people superior at <laughs> what exactly are white people superior at? they're real good at violence violence genocide it's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it you are white what are white people really good at what are white people really good at <laughs> this oppression woman. This woman is, um, God, what a great country with this woman. Extremely to, malnourished. Yeah, she just gets to be like somebody, man. In, 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 a, in, a, in a sun country, man, this woman. With well, she's life, just a little waif of a thing. I mean. Her life prospects would be like her. What her ceiling her ceiling, like the 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 highest she could, her the heights 
would be like just like just would be like a fucking thimble worth of what she could get in America. Man, a thimble to the ocean. And she's over here railing against the people who built this country. Salute to my man Eric S, man. Eric S coming through with the um cash up. Salute to you, bro. Um what are white people superior at? And it's always the ones that are have the one drop that go overboard. They have to be so militant. And, and she looks very not black to me. Yeah, but. Like there's a whole lot of something else here in there. Yeah, she looks like Samoan, man. She looked like that dude, that wrestler that used to rub his butt in people's faces. Forgot his name, but. Anyway, man, she, she she looked like a Samoan for real. Like she looked like one of Easy E's bodyguards, man. What are white people superior at? <laughs> what exactly are white people superior? At? They're real good at violence. Violence, genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. What exactly are white people superior? at? Insecurity, pretending, fear, being fearful of nothing, being ignorant, blame, letting their egos control their every move. <laughs> God, dog. They lay hot you guys. meat kettle. Hey, Holy shit. Tell me how you really feel. God, dog. They lay it into you gliders, man. I, I, I did a video on this a few years back, but I forgot how much. I mean, like, damn, they laying into you. <laughs> oh, and then that cotton swab looking guy, he's so fucking militant. He'd walk around for two days with a headache because he's too damn proud to pull that cotton off the top of the fucking aspirin bottle. That guy, that guy is not safe in Blackstone. Violence. Violence. Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white <laughs> and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. See, Bill, Wyoming, man, you're, you're a killer, too. You're not saying anything about this stuff that's going on, man. Yeah, um, that's the cotton. That's the headache guy right there. Yeah, link is in the description box, man. If you want to come up, man, link is in the description box. Um, oh, yeah, he gets out of bed going, how do I, how can I hate somebody today? This is this brother right here is a very peaceful guy, man. This is not a violent guy. This is a very peaceful guy. Oh he's no, I'm, I just mean in his head. No, he okay. I don't think he'd be man enough to jump you. No, 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 no. Hold on. He's not. This is a very nice guy. Like if you knew, if you knew this guy, you would think he was the greatest guy in the world. You too. If you knew him, you would think he was the greatest guy in the world. These, these feelings about white people are not even like something that they see as like absurd. This is like breathing. This is not a big deal that he's doing in his mind. He's well, no, he's been taught this from the from the cradle. Slow, slow down, Bill. Bill, slow down. Take. Remember, we put you on the thing the other day because you got to take it easy, man. Take it easy, man. She's this guy's. This guy is not even he. He's not rebelling. He's not doing something crazy. This is nothing. If this was a Richter scale. This is not registering. The things these people are saying are not registering on the Richter scale. They don't even register. This is absolutely mainstream black people talk. This is mainstream. None of this stuff is fucking... The reason I'm saying that laying into you is because I'm just seeing it as, you know, like I'm trying to view it as like a normal person. But when I put my black hat on, this is just in you could have grabbed any black people from any city. You could have gone to the downtown Baltimore, downtown Louisville, downtown 
God damn Chicago MC. You, 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 and you back there. Come on, let's go um make a video. This is this is baseline. But it seems so bad when you remove yourself from it. What are white people superior at? <laughs> exactly what white people are superior at. They're real good at violence. Violence. Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. What exactly are white people superior at? Insecurity, pretending, fear, being fearful of nothing, being ignorant, blame, letting their egos control their every move, superior at being dicks. What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression, gaslighting. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> there go your, there go your, um, There seem to be a lot of Africans on that panel making all these comments too. Yeah, like like my own man just said, man, th th these these ones drive a lot of the hate. Like these are the ones that the, the rebel rousers mostly. Like even if there's a bunch of black people and everything's fine, if you got one of these around, they're gonna rouse up because the the the, 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 the the I figured what what's wrong with these people is that they really are upset that they're not white it's like and internalized I, hate it, no it's, it's 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 not even internalized hate it's okay i can't be one of you it's like 50 cent if i can't get money with you then fuck you jealousy then yes yeah, jealousy but if you ask this person would you trade places and be a white person I think their answer might be no because then they wouldn't be allowed to hate no listen listen that's just stuff that comes out of their mouth I'm talking about what's in their soul yeah like I mean we can talk about things that come out of their mouth I'm talking about this woman She she's so close it would be like me it's kind of like me, like, like, yeah, like, think about it. I'm a YouTuber. I make a lot of content. I'm stuck on 42,000 subs for, for almost three years. I do fucking five, six live streams. Which is criminal. 500 people, and I've been stuck on 42,000. I could look at somebody like Brandon Tatum or ABL that get 10,000 new subs a, a week. Um, black conservative gets 10,000, 20,000 new subs a week. I can look at those guys and be like, damn, we both YouTubers, but I can't join the club. I'm just, I, I, I can't, I can't join the club. I could be, I could be mad at them. I could hate them for that, man, because we're both YouTubers, but I just can't, I'm not being, I'm, for some reason, I'm not allowed to join the club. And it's nothing they're doing, it's just the way the world is. Like, this woman can't be white, not because of something that you did, Wyoming man, or something that Fisherman or Hot Black did. The rules were set a long time ago. If you got one drop of black blood, you're black. There's nothing that that any white person today has done to make that the rule. We were all born into this. So if you're a person like her, that you just almost white and you just can't be it and you stuck slumming with these goddamn black people, I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to make you glad. I'm gonna, I could go on a, a campaign and just this ABL and this because black conservative would diss Brandon Tatum all day because I can't be part of that crew. But I, I, I ain't going to do that because that's not that's not something that I, I, I feel moved to do. But I understand how jealousy works, though. That's how jealousy works. When, when you can't be a part of it, you want to destroy it.
fearful of they're doing a hell of a job ignorant, blame letting their egos control their every move superior at being dicks what exactly are white people superior at? Oppression. Gaslighting. Lack of empathy. Intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? What exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there. Taking shit. Taking our ideas. Copycatting. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as repurposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma would say, the white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. Public human, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good at upholding white supremacy. How about claiming that, you know, they are actually a whole separate race when actually white DNA comes from the black female? So what exactly are white people superior? <laughs> Honey, lying, stealing and cheating. Manipulation. Withholding information. Lying. Telling lies. <laughs> there are a lot of fat people on that panel. It's nothing good, nothing good, nothing good, nothing good. I could think of something good. They're a hell of a lot better at tipping. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I hey, but shout out, shout out to the one son sister today that gave me $13 on her winter central order. All right, you stand out for the crowd. <laughs> How much was the bill? What was the bill? Uh, I don't know, but I got 13 bucks for only like four and a half miles. So it, it was pretty decent. It was nice of her, but there's definitely some better gliders. Yeah, tipping is tipping is a, is an abstract, kind of like an abstract thing. So yeah, but there's some worse abstract, ones. You know, you know I yeah, honestly I been, believe I if you ask all tipping. these people, if you ask all these people, like to give reasons why they're giving these answers and all of them will probably give back the generic same statements that they hear on the media or heard from some black activists. Look at these people. They're all fucking like weird. Like cut from the same cloth. Yeah, none of these people are like accepted in black mainstream. None of these people are like hood enough or blackity black enough to be like accepted at the cookout these are like weirdos and when i say that these people this is not the crew that is they're the like, ones that benefited the most from white culture yeah exactly this is not the like george floyd has more rank i'm i'm talking about even before he got killed george floyd has more rank in black circles than these people they, they would be the soft targets. They would be the soft targets that people would yeah. go after if they lived in black neighborhoods. And there's not a woman on here, like this guy, definitely, but there's not a woman on here that has like a lace front on and, you know, her eyebrows drawn on and a face full of makeup or a blonde weave and a guy that, like, none of these women are what the Sun Man is looking for. The Sun Man is not checking for none of these women none of these now i'm not saying that they're not gonna have boyfriends and shit but they're not like the <laughs> maybe her pick of the litter yeah, yeah. but not the pick of the litter yeah. these, these are the people who have time to think about oppression because you know they don't really have lives productive lives yeah like this guy right here he ain't he ain't popping in black circles, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and, I, I, and I'm not trying to say that they, their lives don't matter or nothing. Or their, I'm just talking about the black thing is to the base. The black, the black is a race to the base. You know what I'm saying? It's a race to the bottom denominator, and these people are not like what's popping. These are like. Regular black. These are the type of blacks that you as a glider would want to live around. These are the type of blacks that cut their grass and shit and fucking send their kids to private schools with all white kids and fucking um the DEI jobs at the universities. Yeah, had the Mexican mowing their yard. Yeah, had the kids in the house. Cleaning their house. These are the type of kids, these are the type of black people that like Send their um, kids to private schools. Yeah, yeah, they ain't they ain't shooting nobody. That she don't know nobody. Well, maybe her, but 
she don't she don't know nobody who she can call to get you killed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> she she can't she can't make a phone call. You get smart with her, she can't make a phone call and some niggas pull Fear. up and blow Fear. your brain Fear. out. Fear. You know what I'm saying? These is just regular, schmedegular black people that would that these are actually the black people that you have no problems with. You ain't gonna have to like this brother ain't about to fucking blow your brains out of Walmart because you cut in line. You know what I'm saying? But he's the one that <laughs> pull out the phone to call you to cut in line. This sister ain't about the um, you know what I'm saying? This sister ain't about the, you know, top you off in the back of the club. She Jumping over a Waffle House counter. Yeah, she ain't about to jump over no Waffle House counter. These people, these are the good black people. And and this is how they talk, which is the, the thing that's so frightening. These are the black people that will move into your white neighborhood. Right. What are the hard guys thinking? What are white people superior at? <laughs> Exactly They're real good at violence. Violence. Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. What exactly are white people superior at? Insecurity. Pretending. Fear. Being fearful of nothing. Being ignorant. Blame. Letting their egos control their every move. Superior at being dicks. What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression. Gaslighting. Lack of empathy. Intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? What exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there. Taking shit. Taking our ideas. Copycatting. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as repurposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma would say, the white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good at upholding white supremacy. How about claiming that, you know, they are actually a whole separate race when actually white DNA comes from the black female? So what exactly are white people superior? Honey, lying, stealing and cheating. Manipulation. Withholding information. Lying. Telling lies. <laughs> y'all are fucked, man. Golly, y'all fucked. Y'all fucked seven ways from Sunday. <laughs> it's a wrap. Hey, uh, okay, so already effective the week of February 27th, the Seattle Times will no longer carry the Dilbert comic strip following a racist rant by its greatest guy. <laughs> What does that do? Not carrying Dil Dilberg didn't say that. He just got out of some contract he didn't want to be in. I'm assuming he got enough money that he can say these statements and that cancellation won't hurt his pockets. Yeah. Well, yeah, that cartoon's been in the paper for 40 years. For like 30 years? Oh, 40 years? Okay, yeah. They're so, they're so evil. They're going to try to get him. And they can find a way... Um, they can they can find a way to get him. Um, okay, well, so yeah, they took down. What did they he took say? Down that Harry Potter lady with all she had. She had like Bill Gates money almost. This, they this, didn't take down lady that lady. You talking about um J.K. Rowling? J.K. Rowling's yeah, she's still balling. This one, this woman, this guy says, looks like Scott Adams was right. The black on white crime rate is forty two. Point three times the white on black crime rate. <laughs> hey, forty two. That's Jackie Robinson's number. I know, <laughs> man. That, that, it's a good number. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, look at this, man. Look at that, man. Look at forty two times. Wait, three times. That's a lot. God. I mean, I'm not very good at math. I'm not Oriental, but that's a lot. I said I'm not Oriental. <laughs> Black on white. So this is this is this is I guess. Wow. Wow. So that for every thirty white on black 
crimes. And we know that even a lot of those are hoaxes because they're counting like some black person says, I was walking back to campus in the front. And then we find out a week later that the kid just wanted some attention or some shit. But let's just say all 30 are white on black attacks, right? For every 30 white on black attacks, there are 1,288 black on white attacks. And we know that. We know that. God, look at this Hispanic on white. And that's just the ones being reported. You know a whole bunch of them don't get reported. The Hispanic on white attacks are extremely high. Wow. Them on Brito. That's unexpected. Yeah, on Brito's are getting yeah. Well, they're letting them over here. I mean, those on Brito's really resent gliders too, because whenever you're given something, one thing about being given something for nothing, um, this is a psychological thing, and a lot of people don't know this until it's too late. When you give somebody something, it's kind of like a debt. It's kind of like a debt that you've given them. Like you burdened them with something, and they feel they may have to pay it back. So usually people resent you when you give them things for nothing. I'm talking about for nothing. Not like here where I'm giving y'all the show and y'all donating. I'm talking about when you give somebody something for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? The yeah, psyche, there are like the in tribal culture, like a lot of like native tribes. You can't just give them a gift. They don't accept that. Yeah, you've burdened them because now they uh, you put me in a position where I feel like I have to. I owe you or something. something. Yeah, and I don't want to owe you nothing because I didn't ask for the gift. I didn't ask you for a gift. You just giving me something. Now I feel like now it's like I'm mad at you because I'm like, damn. So it's like it, it's it's a psychological thing. So with what they're doing with the border, they're just giving these these people haven't they have they have done nothing for gliders, and you're giving them America, which is a huge gift, and they're gonna resent you for that. I gotta look. I gotta find the goddamn. Um, the the, the the psych it's a theory i know it's in 48 laws of power but i gotta find out um the the 40 the law of power is it says um always refuse the free lunch or something like that it's, it's never never take the free lunch but it's, it's there's a there's a psychologist that broke it down even more it's it's something that like people can't even they can't even um guard against it like people can't um not feel that way because it's like a it, it's it's such a trigger that it is it, it, the even the most like um conscious person can't override it the feeling of um well yeah it's like when you get that secret santa at work and you get a really cool gift and you know you bought them a piece of shit. a pair of socks right <laughs> It's like, yeah, man, I should have, I should have spent more money if I was not. We gonna spend this type of money for a gift. It was right, twenty dollars limit. Flipping fifty bucks in the fucking envelope. Yeah. And you got the ten dollar family tree, family dollar tree uh, gift. It's like yeah. resentful, resentfulness. Ten yeah, for a dollar, then <laughs> dollar tree. Yeah, ten from a dollar. Bin. For every thirty white on black attacks. I don't think it was that bad in 2019 when I looked at the just the data from 2019. That's wow. a, that is extreme. That's a huge number. And we know that on both ends, like on the white end, a lot of those are hoaxes. And on the black end, most of these these are these are probably not reported. Like this isn't all of them. The way we know crime is in the sun, it's understand like the, every crime. No, there's a lot of people that went home swollen that didn't go to the hospital, didn't call the police. There's a lot of people that got the charge knocked down. The, like that, that kid the other day, he got charged with battery. That was attempted murder. Or, or think about the people that, like when that lady that got killed at that cupcake shop in California and they don't want the person prosecuted or, you know. Like, if they have that mindset, but just on a lower level, like, if I get robbed by a kid, a black kid, you know, walk into my car at the gas station, 
I may not go tell anybody because I feel bad for this kid because he's black type of mindset. Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that, man. Um, wow. Um, oh, wow. He's been dropped by other newspapers, too. Dilbert. Dilbert's been dropped by other newspapers. If this was he even had a TV country, show. Think about how racist... How, if this was a racist country... If this was a racist country... There's no way that somebody would drop. How, why would they drop? It's just crazy. They're dropping. What did he say? You didn't. Oh, I. I you I just, just said told white people to move away from black people because they hate you. Fifty percent of them hate you. Oh, um, that, it's best to just. Is that who yeah. That stuff. Oh no. If I'm you're gonna, if you, now. yeah, yeah. If you're gonna live near black York. people, make sure there's only a few. Yeah, oh, to be honest, said, I is. thought that was stupid. I thought it was meaningless, but like, he's being dropped for that shit. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, um, 10% rule ain't no joke. Getting dropped like a hot rock. They don't want to, they wouldn't touch him with a pole. Let me, um, let me move along, man. Um, salute to everybody that's here, man. Gene, who's Gene? Gene, what's going on, Gene? What up, what up, my check, my check. Anita dick me. <laughs> Anita dick <and> me. <laughs> my check, my check. You good, nah, man. Now you sound fine. Okay, yeah, cool. Man. Anita dick and me says, I'm a black server. <laughs> Majority of our customers are mid class white. And I've made it a point. I don't take parties that are greater than fifty percent sun. Yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that either. Still, days of need a dick. <laughs> Mate, you know what? You know what changed my mind about tipping? I watched a video from like Larry Elder when he was talking about tipping, like how you know how little black people give on tipping versus white people, and I like yeah. changed my whole perspective. Yeah, no, no, we're not we're not good tippers. I've been there, man. We we barely. Um, if you get two dollars, like say you were waiting, you come back and it's like five dollars there, and the bill was like, let's say the bill was like ninety dollars or a hundred bucks, and it's like five dollars there, it was one person that felt sorry for you. That was pro everybody got up and left, and that one person was stuck there sitting there, and they were like, Man, shit, this game wow. you know what I'm saying? You ain't never been out with a bunch of black folk, man. I tell you who's the best uh, tipper: former uh, service providers, former waiters, waitresses. You never been out with a bunch of black people, though. Um, um, um I have. Yeah, life. yeah, I have. But I mean, it, it's primarily like you know, this, this, this like married couples. So most of us normally oh, got money, so we're not, you know. We, we, I'm talking about just the, like the crew. Oh, when I was young, yeah, we we you know we leave and not pay, so it was like this, yeah, is, or you exactly. know, leave like a dollar tip or you know some criticizing comment for service. You know, we do yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But if they pay, if that's what I'm saying, like if they pay you, that's a victory. Yeah, you don't just got to come out of your pocket and deal and pay for that shit. If they paid you, you've won. Just the fact that if they paid, yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, man, son's got the audacity when I door dash and shit to answer the door when they leave me a terrible tip. Everybody else don't answer the door. You know, they just say, oh, no, just leave that outside. I don't want to face you. Yeah. I've, I've only had two son people tip me very well. One guy was in the military. Uh, he gave me like 35 bucks. That was awesome. And How then much the was son's the order? Sister How today, much was the order? How much was the order? I, it doesn't tell me the amount of money. Oh, on the okay. app, it doesn't tell me. I just know what food I'm supposed to pick up. Okay, I got you. Wow. And then the son's sister today. That's no, it. Man. See, I'm. I usually I'm like a twenty percent guy. I'm usually yeah, twenty percent. It depends on if the restaurant's high end. I'm twenty or more. Like when I when yeah. I use Fiverr, like I use the Fiverr app, and I when I use you know. For oh yeah, my, I love like, that. Different things that I do with my with my um different ventures, and I and and I'm a I'm a A plus rated um. Not A plus rated, but I'm a five or select. I'm five or select, so I'm one of the top um um people on Fiverr. Like whenever wow. I put out a call for something, people just come because they I'm I have a different I have like a little um thing by my my name. Oh, you can Fiverr. solicit people through Fiverr? 
Yeah, you can you can put out a call for like if you need. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, only if you're five and select though. I'm five. Yo, and yo, real quick. I'll real use quick. that often. Do you guys tip if it's to go? I, yeah, oh, no. I mean it I depends. I don't tip to go. I nah, don't tip not to go. go. Not to go. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm picking it up. No, I don't really tip very much. I, I might I tip just to to, to if, tip off, top off the dollar, but that's about it. See, this, this is like if I walk into a place, like a, let's say a bakery, and the person is handing me something that's already baked, and you just giving it to me, you don't deserve a tip for that. Now, if it's like you know Starbucks or something like that, I might leave something in the tip jar where you have to actually exert effort. But no, any, yeah, I don't. You just handed it to me now. I don't tip to go. I just take my shit. But but if it's if it's if it's if it's service, I tip very well. I'm a very good tipper because. I know, like Reservoir Dogs is one movie that kind of changed my life. <laughs> like, like what about that. like a sandwich shop? If I get good service, I tip above eighteen percent. If I get poor mm. service, I tip ten percent or, or or so. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, uh. it's, I try to. I, I, you know, I, I, I really, I really don't, don't you. The service is really. I mean, I, I'm not a big stickler about service because. I'm not like if the person's bad, really bad, bad. But if they're, I would have known right there on the spot. Yeah, if they're just decent, I'm I'm not gonna like nitpick them. Like, well, you weren't you weren't perfect. Like, I I just tip. tip. Have y'all noticed? Well, poor uh, service is you, you're sitting there for 15, 20 minutes, and they don't even come refill your glass or anything like that. That's poor service have, to me. Have you guys? Noticed, as long as they're doing their job, they get you know, a good tip. Have you guys noticed the decline in the uh, customer service like this last two years? Like they don't, they can't keep people. These diners. Well, I haven't been out as much as I used to, but yeah, when I do, when I usually do Uber or Uber Eats or stuff like that, so I haven't been. I've, I've noticed it. Before. Yeah, they can't keep staff, and then there's like if they do have servers, it's like one person working a whole diner side by themselves. I didn't say anything about adoption. They, they just, she's she's a white woman. She has a biracial daughter. It's like, it's just it's not like implausible that that's her daughter. It was so quick, and like when I got off the car, they 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 scattered like roaches. They were gone. A father to be gunned down in a gas station parking lot as his pregnant girlfriend watched. Columbus police had made an arrest, but dropped those charges. Good evening, I'm Andrew Kimsey, and I'm Yolanda Harris. In a story you'll only see context clues. <laughs> See on 10 TV, Columbus police scattered like rushes is all I need to hear. And charged him with murder. 10 TV's Lacey Chris has the story. Columbus police initially arrested David Johnson for shooting and killing Andrew Combs. Those charges were dropped. Now Johnson's teen brother has been charged in the case. As soon as I found out, I was just like, wow. And my baby started kicking too. Victoria Perez is relieved. Weird, man. It's, it's a weird, weird glider woman day, man. Columbus police have arrested 16 year old Drayton Johnson for shooting and killing her boyfriend, Andrew Combs, in December. Columbus police say Combs was inside this gas station when he tried to stop an armed robbery. The suspects turned the gun. Oh my God. He tried to what? Suicide. What he was going to be stuck with that woman forever, so he went to the gas station and threw himself in front of that black man's bullet. Did he kill himself? I mean, did, did, did he try to stop it with a gun, or did he like try to like wrestle the gun away? Like, what the fuck? Columbus police have arrested 16-year-old Drayton Johnson for shooting and killing her boyfriend, Andrew Combs, in December. Columbus police say Combs was inside this gas station when he tried to stop an armed robbery. The suspects turned the gun on Combs. So all I seen was a guy with a black mask on shot Andrew more than five times. Press was in the car when the shooting happened. Combs died in her arms. Yeah, I was scared. Police initially arrested Drayton Johnson's older brother. Hey, how'd you how'd you know it was a black guy, man? He, Drayton is a Drayton is a unirace name, man. Like, just, know, playing the odds. Uh, uh, just playing the odds. Just playing the odds. Hey, come on, man. Y'all racist, man. Scared. Police initially arrested Drayton Johnson's older brother, David. You may remember him. In April 2021, Columbus police say David Johnson got into a fight, then shot and killed a man while out on... Jesus Christ. 
Oh my God, man. Tell me. Yo, listen, man. Not for nothing, man. Did we win it, man? We're winning. We are winning. This is not like a crime wave. This is a W. We're winning out here, man. We literally like can do anything we want. I, if it was uh, the lottery and you were playing the odds with Sun Men is involved, everybody would be billionaires by now. Jesus Christ, man. These stories, I ain't even gonna lie, man. These stories, even me, I'm shocked, man, sometimes, man. I, I, I don't know what to say, man. He arrested Drayton Johnson's older brother, David. You may remember him. In April 2021, Columbus police say David Johnson got into a fight, then shot and killed a man. While out on bond in that case, Johnson's one-year-old son was found unresponsive and died from an overdose, according to the Franklin County coroner. Johnson was charged in the child's death. He was released from jail by a clerical error. <laughs> Jesus This is ridiculous. Fire the clerk. No, nah, that's lottery worthy. But this is how all the stories are, man. We have you been around? This is every night. <laughs> this is every. This is how the st the guy who killed somebody is always what the guy who killed the girl. I mean, the girl lost her legs when the, the sun man ran the red light and hit her in St. Louis. Yeah, he had violated you. his um, ankle monitor fifty-one times. He was out on parole for a robbery. Any pick a case, pick any one of the cases we've covered in the last fucking two years, in the Sun Man suspect or the Sun Man um, perpetrator. It's always this shit. When I grew up, even if you were a criminal, if you were gonna, if you were on paper for something, you were you're like, nah, man, I can't be a part of nothing. I gotta be straight. I gotta not anymore. This one is just egregious, though. This is the I, this is this is a this is a special one. This is like little like you ever see like somebody get a triple double. This is like a triple double where you scored like fifty points and had like thirty assists and nineteen rebounds. 50, 20, and ten. <laughs> like this is this is yeah. this ain't. He had nineteen and, hole in ones. And, on an 18 hole course. Yeah, this is this is this is a special one, man. Well, he's, he's out a, he's out on his uh second bond without any jail time waiting to hit somebody else. Yeah, this is this is this is this is this is this is whoo depressing. Woo. I didn't kill your own kid. Yeah, I was scared. Police initially arrested Drayton Johnson's older brother David. You may remember him. In April 2021, Columbus police say David Johnson got into a fight, then shot and killed a man. While out on bond in that case, Johnson's one-year-old son was found unresponsive and died from an overdose, according to the Franklin County coroner. Johnson was charged in the child's death. He was released from jail by a clerical error, then was arrested for Combs' death. Those charges were quickly dropped. I already knew, like who it was when they said it wasn't David. It's just the fact that people knew that it wasn't David and that it was his little brother and didn't come forward. Now, according to Columbus police, David Johnson's brother is facing murder and aggravated robbery charges in Combs' death. Perez is 29 weeks pregnant and preparing for the baby. Combs will never meet, but says... We can finally rest in peace and get the justice he deserves. CPD has also filed murder charges against 17-year-old William Armstead Jr. in the case. He is not under arrest yet. CPD is still looking to identify the third suspect. In Columbus, Lacey Crisp, 10 TV News. Yikes, man. My God. <laughs> and this will never get solved. It'll get thrown in a, in a file cabinet somewhere, and that'll be the end of it. And everybody will know sometime down the road who did it, but it'll never go to court, probably. No, nah, they're gonna get that little son too. He's gonna be. He's gonna be. He's gonna do like ten years of this shit. But 
Yeah, let me get his little ass. Um, hey, I, put a li- I put a little video in the private chat. So YouTube one is recent. Okay. Um, <sighs> the top at six o'clock, we begin with an alarming arrest at Brickell City Center. Police say this man followed a woman into the bathroom and then tried raping her. That victim apparently did her best to fight that man off, but was overpowered. That is until a pair of good Samaritans rushed in to stop the suspect. Local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter is live in Brickell with the chilling details. Just so awful and disturbing, Bridget. And so chilling. And it was actually two women who walked in on this attack and they ended up fighting the suspect, kicking him and locking him into the bathroom until police could come. Now they are being credited with saving this woman from a possible rape. This is 28-year-old Raziel Madrigal. He's accused of trying to rape a woman inside a Brickell City Center bathroom on Thursday. Police say he walked into the ladies' restroom after two women walked in. One managed to run out, but the other was trapped. The report says, quote, the defendant closed the door, locked it, and whispered, someone really dangerous is out. It was the quick actions of two female strangers who walked in while police say the suspect was holding the victim down, trying to rape her. The women kicked the suspect so the victim could get away. The good- Think about this, man. I, I just not built like that, man. To just, like, I would be thinking that somebody would come in. That would be my main thought. Like, I can't rape her right here. You know, that wouldn't be your main thought. Your main thought is I could never do that to another person and become aroused. No, nah, that's kind of weird too. What he whispered no, in her ear? What? No, no. If no, my main thought would be if if I'm if I'm if I'm this guy, if, if I'm going in with it, like you're in a restaurant, you're gonna rape her right there on the floor in the bathroom someone is going to come in here at some point. They say he locked, said he locked the door. Oh, he locked the door. Yeah, run that back because I'm a little confused. This is, this is just bizarre. Like, hey, something I, is out of control. Even still, if he locks the door, I mean, somebody's going to bang on the door. It's not like nobody yeah. else is ever going to use the bathroom. Somebody's going to go get, like, hey. Yeah, but it I takes a little bathroom. while. No, I need to use the bathroom. Um, get to, where's the manager, man? Come unlock this shit. Is live in Brickell with the chilling details. Just so awful. Any bets on who the the uh, people that and saved her are? And it was actually two women who walked in on this attack, and they ended up fighting the suspect, kicking him and locking him into the bathroom until police could come. Now they are being credited with saving this woman from a possible rape. This is 28-year-old Raziel Madrigal. He's accused of trying to rape a woman inside a Brickell City Center bathroom on Thursday. Police say he walked into the ladies' restroom after two women walked in. One managed to run out, but the other was trapped. The report says, quote, the defendant closed the door, locked it, and whispered, someone really dangerous is out. It was the quick actions of two female strangers who walked in while police say the suspect was holding the victim down, trying to rape her. The women kicked the suspect so the victim could get away. The Good Samaritans kept him in the bathroom until police arrived and made an arrest. All I remember is getting beaten up in a, in a public restroom. The suspect appeared. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh, <laughs> Managed to turn himself into the victim. When do you, Gladys, say, look, this is enough. We well, gotta go back to Africa, man. Y'all gotta go back to Africa, man. We sit back. That's back. taking cock block into the next level. That's not, you know, it's not nice. We taking you, we sending y'all back, man. It's gotta be this point where you look at the judge's sister, so she believes this shit. I mean, it's just like this is your country. Look at your country. Jesus Christ. So he whispered that someone really dangerous is out. Where was he at? What was he in? Was he just recently released or something? I think he could have been talking about his uh his memory. He might have been he might have just been high as shit. Was trapped and wanting to get his grape on. The defendant closed the door, locked it, and whispered, 
someone really dangerous is out. It was the quick action of just getting off on her strangers fear. who walked in while police say the suspect was yeah. holding the victim down, trying to rape her. The women kicked the suspect so the victim could get away. The Good Samaritans kept him in the bathroom until police arrived and made an arrest. All I remember is getting beaten up in a, in a public restroom. The suspect appeared before a judge shortly after his arrest. And this was a pretty big guy. The arrest report says he is six foot six, weighing mm. 200 right. pounds. But those this is the second night in a row, man. Six foot six, 200 pounds. Man. He's smaller than a guy to beat up the teacher. Wow. Two women were able to keep him there until police arrived. And he is facing some serious charges, including <sighs> kidnapping and attempted sexual assault. But now we're live in Brickell, Bridget Matter, Local 10 News. Focus now to a deadly what the heck kept him there? Was it a concealed carry holder? They locked him in the bathroom. Yeah, they roughed him up and left him in the bed, closed the door so he couldn't escape. This, listen, man. Y'all have, have to make a decision, a tough decision. At some point, to send us back, man, you gonna have to, man. It's getting worse and 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 worse. How about we just give you Atlanta and put walls up around it? See, Johnny, that's they already got Atlanta. That, that's that type of talking, man. I mean, that's what I mean. Get they already got Atlanta, just. Shove everybody else into Atlanta and get all the gliders out. And you think we listen, man? The glider, they love trying to get that street cred. Diversity is not your strength, man. Forget focus now to a deadly shooting that happened on Lundy Gras in New Orleans East. It happened along the North I 10 service road at Bundy. 35 year old Andrew Stiller was working as an Uber driver when he was shot to death. His passenger was also killed. These are photos. Damn. Of shit. Just death. You know son man did this shit. Still her family. I spoke with his wife about what happened. She expressed concern with the rideshare company. She says they have not done enough to protect its drivers. My reality is my husband was working and he's now dead. I didn't know when he left that day that it was going to be the last time that I ever held him, kissed him, touched him, told him I love you. Two days later, I was supposed to tell him happy first year marriage anniversary. And I can't, I can't, I'll never, I'll never see my husband again. Ride sharing was her husband's side job. Stiller says he was also a social worker and a musician. There's a GoFundMe page that's been set up by the family to help with funeral costs. Details on a suspect in this deadly shooting have not been released. Hey, they don't even, he's, he's just... they don't even know the fuck did. Let me get some water, man. Y'all hold it down for me, man, for a second. Man. Now here's the time to talk. Like, you cut me off when I'm talking. If, please talk now, motherfucker. Shit. Did you guys hear about that uh, Clinton murder? Who? Again? Yeah, I heard it was a somebody, friend or something just got marked. Yeah, somebody yeah, had, they, had dirt on the Clintons, tied themselves to a tree and shot themselves in the chest and then tied themselves to a tree with an extension cord and strangled themselves. The gun is nowhere to be found. Man. Yeah, he originally Art. said that she had the gun when he was talking to police, but it was proven Fort not to police be. say more charges and more arrests are possible for a murder that followed a minor traffic accident. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. The victim, Jin Shin, was hey, shot. Hey, 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 right in my neighborhood. After a fender bump turned into a confrontation with as many as eight people. Four suspects are charged with murder. The most recent arrests and charges just yesterday. Fox Force Dion Anglin, live tonight with more Dion. Scorpion crew. Hi there, Steve. As you mentioned, that fourth arrest coming on just yesterday, Tuesday, in what police are calling a minor traffic accident that ended in murder. 
A fourth man, 34-year-old Keaton Shepard, is now charged in the killing of Jen Shin, a Dallas entrepreneur and advocate for the North Texas Asian American community. Police say what started as a minor fender bender in August 2022 ended with a shooting that claimed Shin's life. To date, Shepard and three others have been arrested. <laughs> Yo, how unlucky do you have the beef? He crossed paths with these four. Yikes. Yo, why do you need four people to kill one nation? Yo. Beef like that sometimes, according to them. This yeah. is so Unless this cool. little Oriental guy just went fucking nuts and was just calling, you know, crazy shit out of his mouth. I said there was a whole lot of Orientals can't drive. Smack my 2005 Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> you man, you sound super racist when you say Orientals. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? Don't, You're not supposed to say Orientals nobody, no Don't more? nobody call Asians Orientals no more, man. You, you can't call people Oriental, Oriental no more? Hell no. <laughs> Orient <laughs> Oriental just meant the the uh, area Orient right. was known as Asia, Eastern, no specific tribe, just Occident, just Occident area. Was Europe, Orient, Occident. It's you know, y'all taking Atlantic it too deep. Y'all taking Pacific. it too deep. You're too deep. You're too AKA deep right now. Asia. Mm -hmm. well, let's just reel this back in, man. Um, whoo, 30 year old Mark N. West, 30 year old Quemon White, and 28 year old Cameron Taylor. I was. You know, relieved knowing that person is off the street, you know, and is being held accountable. Nikki San Pume is reacting to the latest development. Shin was her close friend. No matter what, he's not coming back to us, but at least it gives us some kind of comfort knowing that these people will be off the street. Investigators citing video evidence from a nearby surveillance camera say Shin, around 2.30 a.m. on August 15th, was at the intersection at University Drive and I-30 in Fort Worth when he rolled into the back bumper of That's a two blocks away in from front me. of him. Police say three women got out of the car. He rolled into the back bumper of a sedan that was in front of him. Three women got out of the car, and that was a wrap. Salute to Christy. Abster, man. Coming through once again, how she always do, man. Christy Webster dropping it like it's hot, a.k.a. Michael Babe Ruth Jordan. Salute to you, Christy Webster. Everybody give Christy Webster a round of applause, man. Yo. Absolutely. She crushes it every week. Yo, that yeah. location is five minutes away from me. I wonder if his uh, mother was a, a a fan of Men in Black. You know, Quaymont and Bob. Uh, <laughs> uh, swing and a miss. Yeah, the fuck are you talking about? Oh, no. Man. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, man. Um, anyway, um, so three sisters hop out. So his initial... His initial when do the interaction come in? was with three and contact. Sisters. Yeah, he made contact with three with women. Sisters. So where the Sunmen come in at two thirty in the morning? Okay. So they're drunk. Okay. in Fort Worth when he rolled into the back bunk. Please don't say everything that comes to your mind, man. It fucks the show up. Don't say every single thing that comes to your mind. Bumper of a sedan in front of him. Police say three women got out of the car, and at some point, one of them called friends for extra support. The affidavit says three cars arrived with people who joined the women confront. So they called. They got into a fender with an Asian entrepreneur, a tiger, a whole tiger, and called some people. I tell you this all the time, and I'm telling you, man, if you... Don't account for this. You will not understand what you're, you, you're not prepared to enter the field of play. A son person can call people out of their homes, light up in the bed with their kids and their spouses to come throw their lives away at three o'clock in the morning. If you're a son person, we all, all son people, we all know people who we can call right now 
what time is it? 1 30 and say, Hey, come throw your life away with me right now. <laughs> and they'll go do it. I mean, you won't say that, but if the situation you'll tell them, it's just like the Alabama story. What's going on in Alabama? University of Alabama with that kid. It's similar. Yeah. That's what happens all the time, man. These sisters got these sisters got in this fender bender with this with this tiger and called these men who were in the house probably what three o'clock in the morning, most likely in the house. To come they get out of away. their beds and they have to come throw the lights. And I promise you, every sun person can do this because sun people are very willing to do it. If this is this is the same as if you're an ombrito and you call and you say, oh, and you come across a house, right? Like, and, and the guy's like, yo, um, I need I need everything done, drywall, roof, everything. Um, I'll pay you guys $100,000 <laughs> and I just need it done by, I need it done by the end of the month. I need the, the plumbing, everything. And ombrito gets on the phone. Hey, yo, get it in and starts making calls and contacts. And then next thing you know, the next day is fucking 20 on burritos descending on the house like little ants. Just it's the same thing with us when it comes to fuckery. We can all find people that are willing to throw their lives away at any given time. Those are two sides of a big ass spectrum, though positive and negative. (laughs) <laughs> and especially, but it's the same. It's the same energy. It's the same energy because it's the level of commitment required to exactly, go do something like that. Exactly. Yeah. But it's these the dudes was, you know, probably smoking, drinking somewhere, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Shaniqua said yeah, they yeah, probably yeah, weren't yeah, even you know, that man. It's just the fact that they received that phone call, yeah. and these dudes just came out of nowhere. Like this is easily. I, let me call the police. We just had a car accident, so we can file a police report. Over. But I mean, what was a tiger mouth and off saying to these people? Probably not as not as complacent as they wanted. How why are you assuming he was mouthing off? Why are you not assuming that it was like that it was like that that he was that they were mouthing off? He could have been just not as apologetic as they wanted. Like he could have been not as like complacent or as you know. Yeah, that's it. He just he's like, okay. I don't think he would mouth off to a bunch of sisters. I think he'd be taken aback. I think he'd be taken aback by the aggression. But what Haters prompted the sunny. ladies to go to say, "Hey, where Pookie River at?" It it doesn't have to take nothing, man. All that they felt to take. disrespected. Yeah, it it doesn't have to. That's take, all it takes. Yeah, you, you, it doesn't it doesn't t- like to try to put a rhyme or reason on it and try to make it like you know follow like like it's not like Columbo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no logic to this. This, this is this, this, Columbo. Yeah, no, I'm saying it's not like a, a chain of you know you're breaking down events that led to a mystery that you know. Yeah, this is just somebody got mad, or somebody yeah. could have somebody could have been venting and been like, "I'm gonna call my boyfriend to come pick us up." Maybe they called the boyfriend to come pick him up because, or or something, or called the vent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we or, or we gonna be late because such and such. Da, 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 da. And, you know, it could have been anything, but. Once she called those guys, it's setting the chain of motion that ruined their lives and ended to the end of that um, Tiger's life. Video evidence from a nearby surveillance camera say Shin around 2.30 a.m. Oh, on August 5th. Video evidence at the intersection at University Drive and I-30 in Fort Worth when he rolled into the back bumper of a sedan in front of him. Police say three women got out of the car, and at some point, one of them called friends for extra support. She summoned the sun man. Three cars arrived with people who joined the women confronting Shin. They described Shin eventually being surrounded by four women and four men, and one of the men punched Shin and took his keys. Investigators say at one point, Shin did retrieve a gun from his vehicle and held it pointed toward the ground. Police say one of them. <laughs> so he, what he mafia still, always say? Yeah, he still wasn't ready. Lloyd Scott, who are you? Uh, hello, he can you hear me? Already. You got the. You know Scott, you got the kid playing in the background. Yeah, can, like, can you hear me? Uh, hello. 
fuck out of here. Man. Yo, T Pain hopped out the car and punched him. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's it's just this guy comes out, he still doesn't understand the gravity of the situation. He could, he literally had the opportunity to drive away when he made it to his car to go get his gun and didn't drive just drive away. I would have just took that. Well, just shoot the motherfuckers if you're gonna shoot them. That's what I tell Moscow <laughs> all the time. Like you have to actually shoot them. It's not good enough to grab your gun and hold it. Yeah, you gotta and pop everybody's off before them. not built like that. Everybody's yeah, not he shouldn't built even like bought the gun. That being surrounded by four women and four men and one of the men punched shin and took his keys investigators say at one point shin did retrieve a gun from his vehicle that's why he didn't oh, drive man. away the guy took his keys oh, so the guy oh took yeah that's keys, right that's right that's right he couldn't, he couldn't drive away and held it pointed toward the ground police say one of the men in the group mark in west also grabbed a gun and fired shots at 43 year old shin who was later found on the ground a short distance away. A father and public advocate leaving behind a 14-year-old daughter, a girlfriend. Dude, might get off. So, so he was just waving it around, and, we just you know, Sun Man arrested. took a shot at him. He well, they don't off. know if it was him. Could just be a hell of a coincidence. They say he held it towards the ground. No, he wasn't presenting a threat. I'm saying they wouldn't say that, that the only two people there and one of them got shot, that, okay, it must be the other guy that did Here's it. Here's the thing, though. They punched him and took his keys. Right then and there, I think they forfeited the already, defense. He's a victim of assault, but he doesn't, at that point, it's real sketchy as to whether or not he'd have uh, deadly force authorization. Or yeah, it, it, I'd like to just say time had passed between the punch and him going to his car. Yeah, I believe they went back to the women. They went to his car and punched them. They went back to the women. When they went back, homeboy had the gun in hand, I guess. He, missed, yeah, but he had so many opportunities to leave. Just having the gun is not provocation. Pointing at the ground is not provocation. He'd have to point it at them in order to be provocation for them to be able to shoot him. Well, they've all been arrested, so in charge. So, so let's. So there's no, there's, there's not a big conspiracy. And public advocate leaving behind a 14 year old daughter, a girlfriend of 10 years, and countless friends. We just want everybody involved arrested. Now, police have not yet released the latest uh, arrest warrant affidavit, which could contain new information about the crime. Meantime, a GoFundMe campaign to so they said fourth arrest. None of the females were arrested, and these dudes just family threw family their lives away for four women. They don't. That's crazy. That's a superpower art to just summon three. Like that. Is in the hospital. Uh, all, all sisters have that ability. I mean, all hood sisters. The type of sisters that you saw in that first video where there was people, black people were talking shit about white people, none of them got that. But Red Boon Sheikha and, and Shaquanda, they got that. Let me move along. The mother of a Fort Worth City Council member is in the hospital tonight recovering after she was shot in her home. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Fox 4 has learned that man suspected of shooting her is her neighbor. Police arrest John. Yo, and homeboy got a rap sheet too. It never ends, man. If y'all think, hit one of you think that I'm intentionally picking cases where the suspect is black. Hit one of you think I'm nitpicking, sifting through um, the internet looking for cases where the suspect's black. And don't tell me what you think I want to hear. I'm, I'm very if you did white stories, it would likely just be husband shoots wife or shoots and shoots himself stories all day long if you did that. I'm saying two, zero, nine. Oh, there's a one. Okay. I mean, that's nine. fine. <laughs> Is there that's fine. Operator? Because I'm I, like, you got to understand, like, like, I don't watch these before I come on here. I just see the titles and I'm like, oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. So, homegirl was oh. 82 years old and pissed this dude off somehow. Wow. 
The mother of a Fort Worth City Council member is in the hospital tonight, recovering after she was shot in her home. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Fox 4 has learned that man suspected of shooting her is her neighbor. Fort Worth police arrested Jonathan Howard, charging him for now with unlawfully carrying a weapon. It's unclear if more charges will be filed. Fort Worth City Councilman Carlos Flores says he was the one who called 911 after the shooting. Neighbors tell us Howard lives just behind the woman's home. Fox with Peyton Yeager live in Fort Worth with the story tonight. Peyton. Steve, the 82-year-old is still recovering. She is surrounded by family. Now, neighbors in the North Side neighborhood tell me they heard multiple shots late Thursday evening, and they were shocked to learn the alleged shooter was living just feet away. Right now, I'm concerned about mom. Emma Patino worries about her elderly mother and her safety every day. Now, Patino says she's even more on edge. It makes me think of my mom because they're only three years apart. I feel like mom needs more protection. Just a few doors down on Circle Park Boulevard, Fort Worth police say an 82-year-old woman was shot through her back door around 9 p.m. Thursday evening. Fort Worth City Council member Carlos Flores declined an on-camera interview but confirmed through a statement to Fox 4 the woman shot is his mother, Graciela Flores, who lives next door to him. Carlos Flores says he's the one who called 911 and cared for his mother until first responders arrived. It's scary, very scary. And when my, my siblings find out about this, they will be scared too. Graciela Flores was treated at a hospital and released on Friday. The 82-year-old woman told police in the initial report she was home when an unknown male approached her back door. Graciela Flores yelled, thinking it was a relative. During the preliminary investigation, Flores says she instantly heard gunfire and realized she had been shot in the stomach. The shooter took off. However, in Councilmember Flores' statement on Friday, he says a stray bullet was fired from the backyard of a nearby property, but he offered no other details. Police never said anything about a stray bullet, and when asked about it, they just say the investigation is ongoing. So why is the city councilman caping for the black guy? The mom says he came up to the back door and shot her in the stomach. The, 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 the son saying it was just a stray bullet from another yard. Got to defend that black and brown coalition. Wow. This shit is deep, man. They, they, Don't want to lose any votes. Yeah. Because if, if you're a victim of black crime, you're like, if you're, if you're a wokey woke politician and you become a victim of black crime. So the, so, so the umbrito is sitting on it? He's sitting on it right now or what? Yeah, but it's like, it's like you're the pariah because you're the one that's getting, because their whole thing is, less prison time and and you know what I'm saying lighter sentences so you can't come out and be like I want to prosecute the fullest extent of the law. I mean like this is this is what a this is a wicked game they're playing man. I this is a juggling act man these fucking wokesters are playing man. It's fucking it's amazing man. I mean I, I gotta say man they're able to juggle like, I mean, like, well, ride the tricycle. Salute to them, man. Hey, the Even putting their moms at risk. In the initial report, she was home when an unknown male approached her back door. Graciela Flores yelled, thinking it was a relative. During the preliminary investigation, Flores says she instantly heard gunfire and realized she had been shot in the stomach. The shooter took off. However, in Councilmember Flores' statement on Friday, he says a stray bullet was fired from the backyard of a nearby property, but he offered no other details. Police never said anything about a stray bullet, and when asked about it, they just say the investigation is ongoing. I did not know his name. I've seen him before, but I, it's just, it's shocking. Look how nice these fucking old burritos are, man. Like, they're not, like, Raging, you shot an 82 year old woman, and they cool with it. And you're probably they sound like, like gliders. And he's like the only sun man in the neighborhood, probably. They sound like gliders, they sound just like gliders. Hey, Lloyd Sky, you came up and you fucking had the shit playing in the background. When y'all come up here, you got the fucking audio playing in the background, and you're fucking doing stupid shit like testing, testing one, two. You hear me? Can you hear me? And shit. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. You got to come up here and, like, ha have have your shit together, man. 
knowing that it was him. Early Friday morning, Fort Worth detectives identified the alleged shooter as 35-year-old Jonathan Howard. Rosenda Mercado told Fox 4 Howard was staying at this white home off Lincoln Avenue that backs up to Flores' home. Howard's listed address on the police report matches the same address. He never seemed like he would do something like that, you know? Around 4.30 Friday morning, Howard was taken into custody and charged with unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. Fort Worth Police did Damn, he's only charged with unlawful possession. <laughs> Oh, they just said, what you doing with that gun? Gut shoots an 82-year-old woman, probably through a screen door. You got a whole 82-year-old woman with her intestines being carved out. She's probably Well, young. she was old. She was probably on a colostomy bag anyway. What the hell? She probably, like, like that, that gut shot probably, like, fucked all her organs up. She's 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 already eighty two. He probably took fucking ninety percent of whatever life she had left if she survives. Yeah, if she even makes it out the hospital. Uh, and the son ain't gonna do nothing about. I mean, the the well, the little gay kid son ain't gonna do nothing about it. And with belly wounds, you get horrible infections and. Yeah, that's it, don't, it don't look good for her, this, man. All this shit, and and and, and here's the thing. He's being charged with unlawful carrying of a gun. Stay walking. That's it. Howard was staying what is that, community at community service home off Lincoln Avenue that backs up to Flores' home. Howard's listed address on the police report matches the same address. And he never seemed like he would do something like that, you know. Around 4.30 Friday morning, Howard was taken into custody and charged with unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. Fort Worth police did not say why Howard was not charged with a crime like aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but do say additional charges could be coming. It's just weird why, why Carlos' mother. Howard does have a criminal history, including assault, evading arrest, and multiple drug charges. He remains in the Tarrant County Jail this evening. Okay, so he's still in jail. At least he's still in jail. Shit. God damn, man. That's horrible. Well, he's a felon, so he's not. he didn't just stumble into the cops for the first time. Unfucking believable, man. What's up, Lloyd Sky? Lloyd Sky, who are you? Oh, Lloyd Sky. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, I can barely hear you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my first time on this. Uh, how do I up the, the, the volume? Use your device. All right, so I guess this is how it's just going to go. So you, you were saying something about sending Negroes back. Like, yo, keep, I'll say this. If I, I get the whole crime thing, don't include the entire black collective with that. So like encapsulate that to the people who are doing the crime. Don't put that on me. I'm trying to go to work. You feel me? So okay, Lloyd. Don't put. Uh, that, I'm just saying. Don't put that on me. I, I I sire my children. I take care of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep them out of harm's way. Make sure you keep that umbrella to the motherfuckers that are out there doing that crime. Don't put that on me and my children because what what happens is that narrative. You 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 start getting essentially, the economy's getting bad. It's gonna start getting to a point where these Caucasians are gonna come out there and and they they're gonna start putting in work on our people, and look. I don't. I don't need that. You, if you want that, keep that on your on on, on, on your mind. Okay. Or so in your and that oh, energy oh, on, Lord, on on your Lord, shit Lord, or on Lord. your kids. Don't put that Lord. on me. No, 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 no. I hear you. I feel you, right? But I go to work every motherfucking day. Get the fuck out of here, man. You ain't gonna let me talk on my own fucking show. Fuck out of here. I just, I just kept thinking about the mad rapper. Why are you so mad, man? Yeah, man. This motherfucker ain't gonna let me talk on my own show. Um, but yeah, so anyway, man, send these motherfuckers back, man. You need to send us back, <laughs> man. I mean, at, at some point, man, look at this shit, man. 82-year-old fucking woman. 
You fucking kidding me? He comes well, up right after 82 year old woman gets shit. He comes up after that story. With this well, it's not only the ones that are committing the crimes, it's also the people in the community, community that are actually out mean. there caping for them, defending them. Oh, he's he's just a poor, misguided youth. He 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 just had disadvantage. That's the ones that are the problem. Yeah, man. Make sure if you come up here and you want to read me the ride act, that's cool. But you gotta let me fucking talk on my own show. I don't mind y'all having disagreements with me, but if you ain't gonna let me fucking talk on my own show, I'm gonna kick you out, bang. And and, and if and if you pop up in the chat, block them, Scorpion Squad. Fuck you, squad. Fuck you, not let me talk on my own show. The fuck? That's fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty disrespectful. This is a special WBAL TV 11 News presentation. <sighs> this program contains some graphic images of violence and death on Baltimore City streets. Viewer discretion is advised. We can't keep blaming the police and everybody else for doing what we are doing. Because we are giving out the second. This place that we once called home is now so dark. He cried because he knew that little young brother. You see what you're doing with these brothers, man? You breaking real men hearts. For the grace of God, there goes I. But now it is I. Oh, you gotta keep that. I think I already showed this one before. That was a, um, I think I already showed that one. I could show it again, but it, it did. Hit one if you saw that one before. But I think I already showed that one before. I think I already I think I already did that before. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I already did that one before. I don't want to do that one again. A lot of people didn't see that. Let's do one. Let's do one more city for, before we get out of here, man. I was gonna ask Lloyd what city he was from. He wouldn't let me talk, man. Um, give me one more city before we get out of here, man. How about Charlotte? I haven't seen Charlotte in a while. Charlotte. Don't let it down. See the. Let's see. Um. Oh man. Oh. Uh, Pride Magazine, today celebrating its 30th anniversary at the uh, year's Pride Awards. The event honors and recognizes the accomplishments of local African Americans and our very own Fred Shropshire, MC. Right. Why do we say shit like that? We proud and pride and shit like that. We always talk about pride and tradition and shit. And we don't, none of that shit is true. We don't. What pride? What? I thought that hey. word belonged to another group. Right, exactly. Tay, Tay, what's going on, Tay? Who are you? What's going on? I, I, I've been on here before. I think I just uh, I changed my name. I was the uh, also super chatter, or I was the Anita guy. Oh, oh, Anita, Anita. <laughs> Dickie, God, why would you name yourself Anita? Because I always do it. I like I watch streamers and I super chat just to hear them say it. Okay, 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 okay. You you yeah. doing like the Simpsons and shit? All right, go ahead, go ahead. What's up, man? <laughs> oh no, man, man. I, you know, man, I love you so, man. I always, I mean, I watch you just about every night. Oh, salute, salute, man. Um, now sending us back, man. I mean, uh, do you do you object to me saying they need to send us back? I think, uh, in a way, yes. 
I think I kind of I kind of lean more on the side where the dude's like, you know, it's an umbrella term saying all. Mm-hmm. You know, I think if like, um, you know, it should be like a, you know, like in the early days of Australia, all the Europeans were just sending all the uh, prisoners, you know, to you know, so like what if, you know, that becomes, you know, if you get a life sentence or you get a 20 year sentence, just send them to Africa or send them to an island. And here's my thing. Here's my problem with that. OK. Let's say we send most of us back and we leave you and Lloyd Sky over here with your families and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna make more some people, and those people gonna do the same shit. You gotta, you gotta. When you have a tumor, they don't just cut some of the tumor out; they cut all the tumor out. So, I mean, I guess what I guess the question would be: Would you be okay? Like, if you're gonna say that mandate, would you be okay with following the mandate for yourself? Listen, man, I'm giving them advice. Yeah, well, I'm not they, saying, but what if they took your advice? If they take my advice and send us back, I'm gonna be pissed off. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be pissed. I mean, when you think about it, it's like, um, I mean, it's not, you know, out of the out of the uh, you know, parameters already said, like cultures that did that to the Jewish people for years. Like, you know, I, mean, I don't want to go back. I do not want to go back. But I'm giving gliders fucking it, it's like this. It's like this. You have a, a, a this is some real hood shit though, but like say say you got a sister, right? And you hang out with her baby father. You and her baby father is man, you you'll you kill for that nigga, he'll kill for you. You'll let him ball a thousand dollars, he'll let you ball a thousand dollars. You'll pick him up anywhere, give him a ride anywhere. But he dogged in your sister. And you say, "Yeah, I, I love, I love you, bro." But I, I, I love your baby. You tell your sister, "I love your baby, daddy. That's my nigga." But you need to cut that nigga loose, man. <laughs> <laughs> you need to cut him loose, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, okay, I think I say the one thing. Right, these are, this is the other only option is that, like, in that situation, I'll beat that dude ass by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, to the point that he wouldn't want, like, I couldn't, like, I have friends that, like, don't take care of their kids. And I'm like, bro, I can't be cool with you because you don't, you know what I mean? Because you can't, your dad be dead. You know what I mean? So I look at it where it's, like, in the theory of going back to Africa, of, like, what movements got to be made, it's got to be us 10% of the of the Sun community that make it happen. And we got to take some of those old white people's strategies. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I- aggressive right back at them. I have a proposal. You litter, you shoplift, you have a baby out of wedlock, you get shipped back immediately. Yeah, no tolerance. I, I would say if you like link it to reparations, you have a free ticket and the U.S. government will buy you some land and you can go to like Liberia where it doesn't take much Why to get the citizenship of the skin color. Give you something. Because they, they want it, I'm, I'm. That's that's the only solution. I mean, they. You think they're gonna send them back for free? Man, just send you back like you would send anybody back when you when they. Do you know them, why oh, Liberia God. was created? Oh yeah, it was because of a bunch of uh, uh people racist. Uh, I don't want to use racist, but people that wanted to free slaves, people that didn't want black people to stay in America. They formed an organization and they sent them back. I've been to Liberia. I, I was deployed there. I, I've been to the country before. I know it's a hellhole, but <laughs> it's about all they got. Thank you for your service, man. So you understand the situation. If you've been to library, oh, you yeah. understand. Okay, so let's yeah, let's I understand. Move it is yeah. Let's move along. Pride Magazine today celebrating its 30th anniversary at the uh, year's Pride Awards. The event honors and recognizes accomplishments of local African Americans, and our very own Fred Shropshire emceed the event. Several other members of the WCNC team were there. This year's black tie event was a day ball at the West End Charlotte. The event honored charlatans, including Natalie Fraser Allen, the founder and CEO of the Arts Empowerment Project, and Jalen Hampton, a high school senior near the top of his Hold on, man. Is that too 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 suddenly cracking on the <laughs> Is that is a redhead? That's a rare rarity. So, the whitest of whites. Trust me, oh. I'm a ginger. I know. All these sisters in here. 
all we sisters in here. He's <laughs> too something cracking on his glider, man. Ain't that okay? and, and and look at her eyes. She's dazzled. Yeah, she is. She's <laughs> Yo, she don't know what you want. She's oh, thinking about looking up. She, she's definitely thinking about um, over six feet tall. Newsman. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to make a prize receive, man. <laughs> she, she gonna she, smile like a donut. Yeah, dog fart. She thinking dog fart all the way, man. Listen, man. Can't this take her eyes off that bald head. As old Jason Whitlock said, she's thinking about getting the black scene. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Think about the sisters there, man. You a bunch of sisters. You see these two handsome, tall, fucking... Um, stately men over there. You Successful. You see, turn around. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> and sister's got, man, I'm sorry, man. If you're a sister, man, I gotta tick you off a little bit. This is supposed to be our night. Pride. We can pride, man. After they done pay for their babysitters, for their single single mamas. <laughs> I can see the thought bubble over her head. Do you see this bitch right here? <laughs> Damn shit, man. After we done protest for y'all. But yeah. if you told those brothers they got to go back to Africa, they would break down, sobbing, yeah. crying. Did she crying. Come with I'm going to be right there with them. Did she come with us, man? Shit, man. Jane, can Jane come back to the jungle with <laughs> this? Listen, man. Listen, though, man. It, this is this is insane, man. This right here, this whole night is supposed to be for black people doing, came out and just. And this motherfucker over here trying to get him some fucking white coochie, man. This, this shit is sad, man. Shit is <laughs> and she's sad. over there putting it on the line to help out the brother. <laughs> salute, salute to, salute to um, Jim Septon, man. Op Nation Hall of Famer, man. He says, Op is not the problem. Dude was out of order. Yeah, man. Salute. Dude was Excellent. crazy out of order, man. African Americans and our very own Fred Shropshire emceed the event. Several other members of the WCNC team were there. This year's black tie event was a day ball at the West End Charlotte. The event honored charlatans, including Natalie Fraser Allen, the founder and CEO of the Arts Empowerment Project, and Jalen Hampton, system. a high school senior near the top of his class at the Philip O. Berry Academy. No ring. Ain't no, ain't no brother trying to crack that system right there. No, ain't nobody trying to crack on with uh, the high top fade. Hey. Like a, <laughs> Go back to what was that? Was that chick, man? Poetry all that night. model. Like she was in boomerang. boomerang. 